Good morning, guys, and how are you all doing? This is going to be a really fast report. Uh, it's uh, Monday, May 28, 2018. Uh, it's a, a little bit of a holiday for the markets in the States uh, today, uh, so we're going to get right to it and start the charts right here. Now, the first thing we're going to look at is the silver price. Uh, the silver price is uh, bouncing along stable in the lower end of its range. Uh, it's down six cents, but 1641, which is the lower end of this particular range. Uh, so it's a really good buy today. Silver's at a good price. Uh, Bitcoin, Bitcoin is been going along a little bit lower, a little bit lower all the time. Uh, it's starting to look like it's getting ready to break down below seven thousand uh, dollars pretty soon. And all these guys out there that are really into Bitcoin, they can't, I mean Bitcoin, I mean cryptocurrencies. These guys are just gone crazy over cryptocurrencies because they've made a little bit of money off, off of it when it was really on the upswing there a little while ago. Uh, I'm not going to mention any names, but one of them in particular, you know, is on here on YouTube. And he, uh, all he can talk about is cryptocurrency now. And uh, he didn't used to only talk about cryptocurrency, but since he's made money, he's that's all he can talk about. Anyway, uh, after a little while, as this thing this keeps cooling down, cooler and cooler and cooler, the all the uh, all the excitement is going to wane off on these cryptocurrencies because they're not making money anymore; they're losing money. And I'm not going to laugh about it because this will come to a stop in the end when cryptocurrency finally makes its final bottom and starts its trudging upwards again. And so there's a massive bull market in cryptocurrency coming, but I'm going to tell you, we're going to go through some pain before we get there, back to the bull market again. Uh, we're going, I think that there's an entire possibility that you might actually see a Bitcoin for $2,000, quite seriously. Uh, but I'm going to tell you, in this next bull market that's coming, you're probably going to see a hundred thousand dollar or two hundred thousand dollar Bitcoin. So don't uh, uh, don't uh, fret. You know. Anyway, let's move on uh, to uh, the Dow Jones. The Dow Jones is what it was at close uh, because it's not open today. But it was, uh, it was down 58 points, uh, and I think when it opens tomorrow. Uh, I think what we're going to see is we're going to see a little bit of an upward movement, but not not that much. I don't think it's going to test uh, uh, twenty six thousand. Uh, I don't I don't think I think it's going to hit a lot of resistance at that point anyway. Uh, re uh, resistance again is at twenty three thousand, so it's still riding between that range. Uh, now taking a look at oil, we've seen a massive drop of at oil in the close. Uh, it was down over $4, uh, over 6% down for oil. This is going to translate at the pumps for you guys. You're going to get a little bit of relief at the pumps coming up uh, on prices. Bonds and rates. The bond, the 10 year is down right now. Now, note this price in the 10 year, 2.93%. That means that on a 10 year bond, a uh, United States bond, you can get 2.93%. Now, uh, remember that price because I'm going to talk about this in a minute. Uh, the U.S. dollar, 94.45%, and it's up today. Now, the dollar seems to be open uh, today, and uh, it, uh, it's, it's actually moving upwards a little bit today. Uh, cryptocurrency market capitalizations. Today, uh, we're looking at $315 billion with Bitcoin dominance at 39.4%. I think what we're very likely to see in this is this is this might go down as low as like uh, 200,000, I mean 200 billion. Uh, this market capital might go down 200 billion. It might even go down to 150 billion before this is all comes to finally a stop and the market starts to move upwards again. Uh, and Bitcoin dominance is slowly going to drop back. To, I'm predicting to 20%, or maybe even 10% of the of the. Uh, of, uh, I mean, it's going to drop back a lot. Bitcoin dom, but it's going to be a very slow process. The Bitcoin dominance it dropping back, and there's going to be a, a number of coins that are going to move up in all of this. I think Litecoin's going to be a big winner. I'm telling you honestly. I think in the end, Litecoin's going to be one of the really big winners. Ethereum too. 
uh, and Bitcoin Cash and EOS, these top coins, right? Uh, Tron and IOTA, I don't know. That might be, that might be, and NEO, those, oh, actually Monero too, all those four. Uh, and also I like Dash, but you know, some of these coins I'm not really all that much into. But, um, uh, prices right now are all in the red. And, uh, still, I, I don't think it's made final bottoms yet, really, uh, according to my opinion. Now, this is not financial advice, but I don't think cryptocurrencies have made final bottoms. Now let's take a look at Deutsche Bank today. Uh, she has been over the. Let's take a look at the uh, uh, the one year, okay, for Deutsche Bank. Let's close in on it so we can take a better look at it here. Okay, for one year, what we see is just a steady, steady descent ever since the Qataris. I think it was the Qataris, was it that was buying so big in the Deutsche Bank stock and. Uh, Deutsche Bank was working really hard to try to save their bank. They were actually diluting their uh, their uh, shares. Uh, shareholders must have just loved that. But uh, ultimately, she's failing, 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 failing. Ever since this year, all year this year, she's been, been failing. Uh, now she's down to 1032. Now, if we take a look at the last five days, we see it's a steady descent downward, down, and, and then for the last two days, it's just been bottom bouncing. Uh, I think Deutsche Bank is just going to continue to lose steam and lose, uh, people are slowly going to start to lose confidence in it. At what point does it finally just die? You know, at what point does it finally die? Uh, there's nothing left, really, I don't think, in Deutsche Bank. I think Deutsche Bank's the biggest bank that's ever... Is it the biggest bank that's ever went down? I think so. I think it's got more capital, more... I think it's the biggest bank that's ever went down. And so you can't have a stone that big sink into the pond without sucking other things down with it. Just like a ship that's sinking is going to suck, suck other stuff down with it. Uh... So what was we looking at here? Oh, yes, the Italian bond. The uh, Italy right now. Italy is sinking too. Uh, can you imagine? Italy is sinking. The Italian 10-year treasury bond, it says here, falls by 10 basis points in early trades today. Well, what is it? I, th I would think to myself, hey, you know what? Uh, the Italian bond right now should be, what, about 25% or 30% or even 40%, knowing how broke they are. Should be 40% on the 10-year Italian bond. That's what it should be right now, because, or even 60% interest on the Italian bond, because their country's worthless. They're dead. They're dead in the water. They they owe over 300 billion euros, and and their economy is sinking down the toilet, uh, because they have a bunch of corrupt politicians, a bunch of crooks that need to be in jail for politicians. So what should their bond be worth? Okay, let's go over here and see what their bond's worth. Uh, okay, Italy 10 year bonds fall by 10 basis points in early trades, it says here. Uh, the seesaw continues in Italian bonds. This time they're back on uh, up as the gap lower uh, by more than 10 basis points. The close on Friday for 10 year yields was 2.46%. Is that all in 10 years? You only make 2% interest on an Italian bond for 10 years? You're going to tie your money up for 10 years, and you're only going to make 2% 2, 2 interest on a country that's dead? All I can do is shake my head. All I can do is shake my head. The U.S. bonds, at least you make almost 3%. 2.46%. That's all. That's all you make on, on a worthless Totally worthless. It's like buying into Greece. Oh, I can't think of anything you could buy into to be more broke or more worse. You know? Anyway, uh, thank you guys for listening this morning. Uh, like and subscribe, and uh, we'll catch you on the next market report. Bye-bye.